In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can stop feeling like you should be better with money. Let's get started. Hey there, this is Patrick King with Prana Wealth. On this channel, we help you build your wealth faster so that you can make work optional sooner. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter at pranawealth.com newsletter. When I begin working with a new client, almost inevitably, a moment will come up where they express regret over financial mistakes they've made in the past. This regret most often manifests itself with the phrasing, I should have, or I wish I would have. As Albert Ellis famously said, stop shooting on yourself. Everyone feels they should be better with money, including some of the most financially successful people that you can imagine. So here are a few popular financial shoulds. I should have more money than I do at my age. I should have avoided investing in that thing that didn't pan out. I should have put more money into my 401k. I should have bought a more affordable car. I should have paid off all my credit cards by now. I should have less debt. The list could go on and on. So even Warren Buffett has made financial mistakes. Warren Buffett is widely recognized as one of, if not the, preeminent investors alive today. Yet he has admitted to making plenty of investment mistakes along the way, including his purchase of Berkshire Hathaway. As it turns out, Buffett purchased the controlling interest of Berkshire Hathaway in anger after the firm's management attempted to lowball him when they offered to purchase his stock. Instead of renegotiating, he got pissed and bought a controlling interest in the company and then fired the management. It was an emotional reaction that, in his estimates, cost him $200 billion. He should have made an unemotional decision, but he didn't. Buffett's blunders aren't limited to the faraway past. Indeed, he's admitted making investment mistakes as recently as last year. If the Oracle of Omaha can't avoid making financial mistakes, why would you expect to do better? If you feel that you should be better with money, consider that your feelings may stem from a comparison between the real you and the ideal you. Where the ideal you may have shredded abs, the real you still needs to lose a few pounds. I can relate. These kinds of comparisons can create feelings of stress and make us believe that a part of our lives isn't living up to expectations. Worse yet, you may be comparing the real you to an ideal someone else. Do you have a friend that always seems to be in fantastic shape and has their life completely together? Chances are, at best, you're getting the highlight reel. At worst, you may only be seeing a facade. Social media is not our friend in this regard. Other people have different journeys and different challenges, so it's unfair to compare yourself to those people. If there's some way that you feel like you should be better with money, stop and pay attention to those feelings. Notice what comparisons you're making and then question them. As we cling to our shoulds, we trust ourselves less and see ourselves in a more negative light. So what do you want? There's an excellent article in Psychology Today that describes how to confront the feelings of should by asking, what do I want? I'll post the link in the show notes below. By asking what you want, you create a powerful mindset shift that allows you to see the differences between the fictional ideal you and the real you. If you feel you're failing in some way financially, ask yourself if you're doing or not doing something that you should. If so, where did you get these beliefs? And what do you fear would happen if you just stopped? These questions can give you perspective about the areas that are creating stress in your financial life. After some reflection, you may realize that all the things you thought that you should be doing were never really your ideas in the first place. Quite often, many of our shoulds were inherited from our family and friends. When you instead ask what you want, you may find that you're able to let go of some of the areas in your life where you feel you should be better with money. If you'd like help talking through any ways you feel you should be better with money, then visit us at pranawealth.com to see if we're a good fit. We do still have the capacity to take on new clients. 
As a fee-only financial advisor in Atlanta, we can and do work virtually with clients all across the U.S. We're here to help you whenever you're ready. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter at pranawealth.com newsletter. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.